वेलकम इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूटिलाइजेशन एंड एफिशिएंसी ओके सो बट द फर्स्ट थिंग वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द डिजाइन कैपेसिटी एंड द फैक्ट्री कैपेसिटी बिकॉज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूटिलाइजेशन एंड द एफिशिएंसी डिपेंड अपॉन वेदर यू आर कंसीडरिंग द डिजाइन कैपेसिटी or whether you are considering the effective capacity okay sometimes efficiency is also known as utilization with respect to effective capacity or the normal utilization considered as utilization with respect to design capacity so some people also call it as utilization with effective capacity so that means the major difference between the utilization and the efficiency is that whether you are considering the design capacity or the effective capacity so what is a design capacity that is basically the maximum throughput rate or a flow rate or a output rate of a particular process or operation or a facility okay so how we can calculate that one uh, as you know that that once we oh, first of all we need to identify the bottleneck of the operation so whatever the capacity of that bottleneck operation that would be considered as the flow rate or the throughput rate or the output rate or you can say that is the maximum output rate of that particular operation or a process so in order to identify the effective capacity that would be the design capacity that means the maximum throughput rate minus allowances so what kind of allowances we can subtract so which mean the factor which are affecting our capacity such as uh, personal time okay Uh, such as the plant maintenance such as scrap rework so whatever the factors uh, that are basically affecting our capacity so we should subtract it okay like we can say that in a way like for example our shift is 8 hour a shift okay so that means in terms of time we can say that my design capacity is 8 hour but we are saying that we are taking one hour break so that mean our effective capacity is 7 hour so one hour break that is basically allowance or you can also add other breaks like for example we are saying that half hour we are spending on the plant maintenance so which mean our effective capacity would be 6.5 hours okay so the actual output obviously that is the rate of actually achieved okay so uh, of course the actual output cannot exceed the effective capacity so that means that is the rate of output okay actually how much quantity we are getting um, after performing a particular process so i hope you got the idea what is the design capacity what is the effective capacity because uh, based on these two capacities we can clearly uh, distinguish between the utilization and the efficiency so uh, what is the actual output that is the rate of the actual output we have achieved so the formula is that is the actual output or you can say even flow rate okay flow rate divided by the effective capacity that mean after subtracting the allowances okay so we have to after subtracting the allowances from the design capacity that we have to consider the effective capacity in order to calculate the efficiency as i told you earlier people also called as utilization with effective capacity okay now uh, in order to calculate the utilization we can calculate actual output divided by the design capacity okay that is the maximum output rate without subtracting the allowances okay so if you want to calculate in terms of percentage we simply multiply by 100 simply multiply by 100 so let's consider example so let's say we have a design capacity that mean we can produce 50 trucks per day but the effective capacity is 40 trucks because 20% of the truck capacity goes to through the plant maintenance so that mean 20% of the time we spend on the plant maintenance that's why we have to subtract that time from actual available time so that's why in a day if we are working 8 hours a day let's say we spend 1 hour uh, uh, for the plant maintenance the remaining 7 hours so in 7 hours we can produce 40 so that is the major difference so the actual output is basically we have the 30 trucks per day okay so the efficiency would be the actual output divided by capacity that is 90% and the utilization is uh, 72% okay so let's take another example 
so here we have the manufacturing uh, ballot uh, shoes to determine the production facility of the design capacity so they have designed that we should would, should be able to produce 300 shoes per week so their effective capacity is 230 so due to certain allowances okay now we want to find out the uh, efficiency so the utilization of the effective means that is the efficiency this is the actual utilization okay so the actual output is 200 so we can simply calculate the efficiency and the utilization so i hope you got the idea how we can calculate the efficiency as well as the utilization and you can clearly get the um, difference between what would, what would be the utilization of your process what would be the efficiency of your process so sometimes we also calculate it as a rated capacity that means if we are interested to find out the expected output of the facility so then what we can do is available time multiply by the utilization multiply by the efficiency that would be your rated capacity that means you would be able to find out actually how much time we have efficiently worked so I hope you got the idea about the efficiency and the utilization and clear cut difference between them. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.